why is the camera not focusing on me like the star of the show it's my birthday it's my fucking birthday how could you not focus on me it's all about me i'm just ken anywhere else i'd be a 10 is it my destiny to live and die alive a blonde virginity I'm just Ken. Where I see love, she sees a friend. What will it take for her to see the man behind the tan and fight for me? <laughs> Can you tell I watched the Barbie movie? Oh my god, I just saw this clip of Sweet Life of Zack and Cody the other day where it was them doing that like Tipton commercial and they put London in the front and she was supposed to say like, when you stay at the Tipton and then she's like, when you stay at the and she forgot and Mr. Mosby goes like, it's your name. And she's like, oh, when you stay at the London. <laughs> I guess you had to be there. Hello, my shiny face. Hello, my besties. It's my motherfucking birthday. Well, not really, not anymore. It was my birthday on Friday, July 21st. And I bought books. And therefore now I want to do a book haul showing you guys every single book I bought because we did this before. We did this last year. I went to Barnes and Noble and bought a bunch of books for my birthday and I did the exact same thing this year. Most of these are from Barnes. There's like two in here that are from Amazon that I also want to show you. But um, but um, but um, but um, but um, but um, I may have overdone it a bit. I may have bought like 15 books and for what? Also, I watched Barbenheimer. <laughs> Oppenheimer first, Barbie after. Amazing experience, literally life changing. Also, do you like my sweatshirt? Look, it's the coffee shop in Marriage for One slash the Spanish love deception. <gasps> How cute. Also, let me show you another sweatshirt I got. Hold on. Look at this, look at this, look at this, look at this. My best friend got me this. It's my coffee order. Let's discuss the books I bought on my birthday. Here we go. <laughs> so first up, I bought The Do-Over by Susanna Park. I have seen this book at Barnes & Noble so many times, so many times. And every single time I look at it, we have a little tension between me and this book. And I'm like, oh, I'm gonna buy it. And the book is like, oh my gosh, please buy me. And then I never walk out with it. And I felt like it was unfair. So now I went in there and I got it. I was, I was like, let's get down to business. Let's get down to business. You know what I mean? This is literally about an author of like a best-selling book and she gets a promotion for her dream job. But then once they're doing like the background check, they notice that she never actually fulfilled her courses to graduate from college. So now it's 10 years later and she goes back and has to do those courses and basically goes back to college so she can land her dream job. And then there she runs into the TA who used to go to college with her and who happened to be her ex. So it's like a do-over, second chance romance, and I'm just obsessed with the cover. Like, come on, y'all. Do you see this cover? Have you ever seen anything more beautiful besides me? <laughs> I'm just Ken. Oh, I'm so excited. This looks so cute. This looks so cute. First purchase of the day. Second purchase was a pretty obvious one. This is What Happens After Midnight by K.L. Walter. I read The Summer of Broken Rules by her and absolutely adored it, ate it up. It was everything to me. So then I had to buy this once I saw it in stores and look how pretty it is. Also, Mimi and Midnight. Don't know what it's about. The game is a almost a foot. A foot? Ew, I hate that word. The game is almost a foot. A foot, like feet. Yuck. Will you join my band of fools? What? Lily, oh my gosh, I think her name is Lily too. Lily and Lily and Lily Calloway. How cute. Anyway, blah, blah, blah. It seems like it's a high school game that they're playing. So kind of like the Summer of Broken Rules where they're playing, um, what's that one game called? Assassin. I think it's kind of like that, except these are two exes playing together overnight at high school. That's so cool. I'm excited to read this. I loved Summer of Broken Rules, like I told you. So this is gonna be my shit. I already know. I already know. You don't need to tell me anything else. Then I bought um, this book that as soon as I saw at Barnes & Noble, I like, I needed it. I knew I physically couldn't go on without owning this book. Forget Me Not by Julie Soto. Look at the cover of this. It's literally a wedding planner and her grumpy ex working together in this celebrity event. Jaw on the floor and look at his tattoos and look at the way they're looking at each other. Oh my God, I've never loved a cover more. This is the most beautiful cover ever. And it has flowers in it and I'm not a big fan of flowers and covers anymore but this one's different this one's different also forget me not the title kind of goes with flowers so i feel like the vibes they vibe you know what i mean i think it's gonna be one of my next reads i'm so excited for this it looks so good it looks so good her name's emma emma Amma, emma and his name is what's his name elliot Amma and elliot honestly tell me so far that my purchases haven't been incredible 
You can't tell me that. Argue with a wall. Argue with that wall right there because you're lying. Then I bought two thrillers that were buy one, get one for 50% off. So look at me, queen of deals. These two right here. The Last Flight by Julie Clark and then Hidden Pictures by Jason Rekulik? Re Re Rekulik? Rekulik? I don't know. No idea what these are about. This is like about a plane. I know that. Two women, two flights, one last chance to disappear. Oh yeah, it's like two women's that they get, two women's? Two women, two women. They get to like their flight and then they switch their flights. Like they just they just do a little flip -a -roo. They're like, hey, you wanna take my flight and I'll take yours? Let's do it. I don't know how that makes it a thriller, but exciting stuff. And then this one is Hidden Pictures. It's like this woman starts working for this family and she notices that the kid is drawing some pictures that are a little disturbing. I don't really like to read the back of thrillers, so that's all I know about it, and I'm gonna leave it at that. But I'm so excited. I need to take off these stickers, though. They're so ugly. Hold on. I just wanted to show you that I got a deal, you know? I'm 50% off. <laughs> While I'm talking about my thriller era, let me show you the rest of the thriller books I got, because I got quite a few. Got all of these at Barnes. <laughs> I may have overdone it. It's fine. Anyway, What Lies Between Us by John Mars. Um, One of Us is Dead by Geneva Rose because that kind of reminded me of Pretty Little Liars. Um, the Silent Woods because this cover intrigued me and I love the woods in silence. Daisy Darker by Alice Feeney because I like Alice Feeney and this is one of her next books that I wanted to read. And then lastly, The Only One Left by Riley Sager because I love Riley Sager and this is his new book. So since these are all thrillers, I know not a single thing about them. I just bought them for the vibes and the vibes only. So hopefully they will speak to me, hopefully they will be good, but if they are not, it's literally not the book's fault, it's mine because I bought it completely blindly. I just saw it and I said, you will be mine and I took it home. So is it really the book's fault if I don't like it? If I didn't even read the back, if I didn't even do any research, if I didn't even think about what the book's about, I just bought it. Come on. Sometimes it'd be your own fault. It'd be your own self. And you need to look within and understand that you're the problem, it's you. Then I saw this in the YA section and I had to snag it up, you know? Snap, snap, snatch it up. Confessions of an Alleged Good Girl by um, Joya Goffney. I love Excuse Me While I Ugly Cry. That's one of my favorite YAs and it's by her. So I figured I could read her next one. I will tell you why my mind wanted to buy this. It's because it reminded me of Mine by Taylor Swift. Because it literally says that Monique is a preacher's daughter. And so I was thinking, you made a rebel of a careless man's careful daughter. You are the best thing that's ever been mine. Is that a good reason to buy a book? We'll figure it out later. If it's good, then it was an amazing reason. If it's bad, then it was a bad reason. Again, that's on me. Monique is a preacher's daughter who detests the impossible rules of her religion. Everyone expects her to wait until marriage, so she has no one to turn to when she discovers that she physically can't have sex. Wait, is this YA? Did I find this in the YA section? Hello. I don't know. We'll let you know how I feel about this. But the cover is really cute, so I'm glad I own it. Okay, so those are all the Barnes & Noble ones. I have some that order on Amazon that I shall show you. First of all, this is Fake Empire by C.W. Farnsworth. My best friend got me this, and she annotated it. So... I'm excited to see what it's about. I really wanted to read this book and then she told me not to because it was one of her favorites so she wanted to annotate it. So then I was waiting and she sent it to me from everything. So here it is. It says there's rich, then there's the Ellsworth family, the Ken Neenstens, American royalty. Money buys power and power always has a price. The fear of those who already possess both, losing it. The best way to ensure keeping it, alliances. And the, elite, the elites don't marry down, they marry equal. For Scarlett Ellsworth and Crew Kingston, Ken Kensington, that leaves one option, each other. Ooh. Also, it's a marriage of convenience from, from like two very royal families. Oh, I love that. <gasps> the queen is always the most powerful piece. <laughs> okay, chess, go ahead, give it to me. Oh my gosh, it's even a chess piece right there. I didn't even notice that. It's giving, Ron, stop, you can't. There must be another way. Not me, not Hermione, you. Anyway, Fake Empire, very excited for this one. Maybe this will be my next read. So now it's the books that I bought on Amazon. I bought these three right here. Um, Out on a Limb by Hannah Bone Bonin Young because because it looks so good. I love the cover. And um, no, yeah, that's it. There, there's no other reason why I purchased this. I just love the cover. It's beautiful. I don't know what it's about. Her name is Winifred and his name's Bo. Why Night Stand? Ooh. Oh my God, my air just turned off. Was it on this whole time? <gasps> if you could hear the air, I'm so sorry, but there's nothing I can do about it. You know, Jackie, I can't control the weather. This is honestly, I'm totally faking it. I think it's fake, faking relationship, fake, fake dating. So I bought it. It says, Rach is down on her luck 
happy-go-lucky kind of lady. Sure, she may be an assistant to personal assistants, <laughs> crashing on her ex-boyfriend's couch and having a whole secret past, but mostly things are great. <laughs> I love her. I don't even think it's fake dating. I think she's like faking herself or faking who she is. Wow. Oh, this looks so good. And then the last one is you with a view. Look at the cover, beautiful. Two former high school enemies must reunite for a road trip inspired by their grandparents' broken engagement. So it's Noelle and Theo, and they go on a road trip because their grandparents divorce or break off their engagement, not divorce. You should have a word for like breaking off your engagement, you know? Cause like, it's not like you're dating, you're like engaged. So when you break it off, like your fiance's, you're not boyfriend and girlfriend, so it shouldn't be break up anymore, but you're also not married, so it shouldn't be divorced. Maybe it should be pre-divorced. Anyway, completely besides the point. Okay, so she goes on a trip with her high school nemesis. That is all I need to know. And the cover is beautiful. Tell me no more. Tell me no more. I'm there. Yay! So these are all the books I purchased for my birthday. Hold on, let's get them all together so we could show, we could like, we could, we could, we could, you know? Honestly, this is such a good book selection. Like I really slayed. I slayed and if you disagree don't tell me because i don't care i don't care this is not a democracy bitch it's just me <gasps> that's what i get that's what i get for trying to be mean <laughs> yay here are all the books i bought for my birthday <laughs> i will be going on a book buying ban everyone wish me a happy birthday in the comments or else you're fake <laughs> I love you so much my beautiful shoddy bays. I adore 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 you. I hope you're having such a good day I want to give you the biggest squeeze Nothing fell nothing fell mind your business. Okay. Love you. Bye